This concept is going to be called noisy neighbors. It's going to really help us have a plausible explanation for how some aches and pains can move. They can start in one body part and apparently spread out and not conform to the neurological mapping that we see in textbooks and can be very confusing and concerning for people when it isn't explained in a way that makes sense. Okay, so the deeper concepts in your further reading that we'll be translating here will include peripheral neuropathic pain, nerve sensitization, central nociplastic changes, hyperalgesia, allodynia, the immune responses is going to be a really key part of this metaphor, and neuroplasticity. Okay, so again, reminder that our nervous system is 400, mile, 400 nerves, 45 miles, all buzzing around the body, connected to the brain, orchestrated all from the top with electrical impulses, all designed to protect us. Okay, and what can happen is if we have had our alarm system as the metaphor we've introduced going on for not just a few days, not just a few weeks, but for a long period of time, we can start to wake up the neighbors in that body part or the metaphor of if this alarm in this building that I'm stood in right now keeps going off, it's probably going to annoy the neighboring buildings this side. It's going to annoy the neighboring buildings this side and it's going to wake them up and it's going to alert those. And that's really what we're talking about, how we can start off with our alarm system or our pain experience being in our back and then the hips start to be able to be alerted and woken up. Maybe it spreads up into our upper or mid back. What's going on there? Are we causing all of a sudden a spreading injury or is our neuroimmune system causing some adaptations to be able to cause a heightened sensitivity in the neighboring body parts? That's probably one that's more aligned with a contemporary understanding of a biopsychosocial approach to pain. And the metaphor that we introduce here is the police. If the alarm in this building keeps going off, then the police are probably gonna to want to come along and check it out. But what happens when you have a riot and the police turn up? It tends to kick things off even more. And that you'll be able to relate to when you've, if you've had a virus or you've had a flu, and then when your immune system really kicks in, we get more pain for a period of time. But it makes sense because we can explain that the immune system or our police molecules are out and about trying to protect us. What they also are doing when they're looking for the threat that is potentially invading us is checking out old crime scenes. So that's where things like old back surgery or an old ankle sprain can become painful again and even we can kick kickstart an inflammatory response. So an old ankle sprain may actually get a little bit more swollen, not because it's become injured again, but because our immune system is mediating this through the, neuro, through, through the neuroimmune system that we have to be able to protect us. So really, really helpful concept to start bringing the immune system in because it's so tightly entwined. It's another really important protective system that we have. So questions around this, around the ideas of noisy neighbors, see if you can make sense of this maybe it connects to an ache or a pain that you have experienced where it started in one body part and then it seemed to move maybe from the shoulder then it moves to the neck or down the arm back buttock down the leg see if you can explain that to a peer see if you can use the metaphor of the police coming and how that can make things at least in the short term worse and in that in instance we can start to understand that the neuroimmune system can set up our, our alarm system and helps us to engage with not just understanding that tissue damage can be the cause of aches and pains.